Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark here, and we have another Learn Dash tip here based on a question that we had on the Learn Dash Facebook group, where someone asked if it's possible to allow users to upload their own profile picture. Normally, within a normal WordPress install, users would be able to edit their profile, but when they come to the profile picture itself, they would only have the option to use something called Gravatar. And Gravatar is a third party service where people can upload an image which is associated with an email address. And if they register onto any other site using that email address, it will automatically pull in that profile picture. It's a really useful tool, but some people might not want to use Gravatar and give their users the option to upload these themselves. There are some themes that allow you to do this automatically, like Buddy Boss. But we're going to show you a plugin here that can allow you to do this. So if I just head back to the profile page as this learner, what I'm going to do here in a separate tab is open up my admin account for this Learn Dash platform. And I'm going to head to plugins and choose add new. And I'm going to search for one called one user avatar. And you'll see this is from someone called One Designs, and it's currently got 20,000 active installations and five stars in its reviews. I'm just going to install that here. And then activate it. And once it's activated, we will find on the left hand menu here this new avatars option. So if we head into here, we can see that we've got a few options available with this plugin. So we'll just talk through some of these now and maybe tweak them to how we would want them on a, a Learn Dash platform. So we obviously want to keep this avatar button on the visual editor. What we want to do is allow contributors to and subscribers to upload avatars. So typically learners on your Learn Dash platform would have this subscriber level role. So what you want to do is make sure that they are allowed to upload their own avatars here by ticking this box. I'm going to disable Gravatar use on the site just so that everyone uploads their profile pictures in the same way. This is optional. So you may, may want to keep Gravatar as well as having, having um, a way for people to upload their own. But yep, I've got that ticked and I'll leave that one as is, but it sounds like if, if you do have conflicts with the plugins, you can have other, other ways of, of people uploading them. The next option here is to limit the size of the upload for people who are uploading images here. And you would probably want to do this to stop people filling up your web server with, with huge images. Maybe set that at something like a, a meg or just above uh, for people uploading images. Uh, what you can also do here is allow people, well, set the system to resize these upon upload. So what will happen is if someone uploads a bigger file, it will, uh, WordPress will automatically shrink that down to a, a more suitable size, which would be much smaller and quicker to load on the page. So it's good practice to have this one ticked as well. And you can leave this one at the default settings. This seems reasonable, 96 by 96 is a good size for a profile picture. I'm also going to tick this crop avatars to exact dimensions uh, option as well. So now we can click on save changes and it, the, there is a default avatar which the plugin seems to bring in. You might want to replace that um, because that does appear everywhere. So you'll see this now if I switch back to this learner account. So I'm on the learner profile page and I'm just going to refresh the page here and we see this strange looking guy here, but hopefully you'll be able to replace that with something a bit more uh, generic. Um, but we do still have this edit profile option here. And as this learner, I'm now editing my own profile and I have the option to replace this with an image that I download and, and uh, I upload, sorry. So this is where the user would upload their own image. 
Um, I'm going to show you another quick tool here, uh, which we use quite a lot, which is this website called thispersondoesnotexist.com. So if you are a LearnDash admin or a developer and you want to test things like this out, then if this is a really good tool just to create a random face uh, that you know, is, is just com com completely AI generated, save the image and then use that one as the uploaded image. Um, so if I refresh that, where was that one saved? Um, there we go. Uh, we can upload that. So now it says profile updated. We've updated this profile as this user. So if I head back to the, the profile page and refresh it, I've been a, a user here and I've just uploaded a profile image um, through, the, through the interface there. So we hope you find this useful. And if you did like this video, please hit the like button and feel free to subscribe if you'd like more content like this.